Hi, Hi Williams. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Williams? Nice to have you with me tonight. I am happy because I am I can read. Yeah, Williams, I was listening to you. Very nice, super. <laughs> I am um, need to improve my talking. You're speaking, <laughs> yeah. Speaking, and I have a a specific question because. Yes. I, I have problem with the uh, different types of the verbs. Okay. And can I share my screen? Sure, yeah, go ahead. Okay. This is your time, Williams. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I have it, but I don't understand why names uh, use, uh, for example, in present continuous, I, I use in what same. Okay, it is yeah. okay. Uh -huh. But uh, what happens? For example, here, uh, I am just seeing the past simple. You watch. Mm -hmm. Yes. You did not watch. Mm -hmm. Not is what. Right. Be why? <laughs> oh. Why be it, it, yes, because you have the auxiliary, Williams. You have the auxiliary did. If I have an, an auxiliary bear, uh, the base form that change. Yeah. The ba the, you, you keep the base form of the verb. Okay. All right. Always for like, can you go in, can you go up to the present simple, please? Yeah. All right. If you notice, uh, you have you watch this video. All right. In that case, you don't have an um, an auxiliary verb. Yeah. Uh, then you have you don't watch this video. You don't see the change because with you the verb is always going to be watch. In but if you have, for example, Jessica watches this video. In simple present, a positive is watches, okay? A negative would be Jessica doesn't watch this video, all right? So the, the doesn't, uh, the auxiliary verb doesn't, it makes the uh, main verb to go back to the base form, watch. So I cannot say Jessica doesn't watches. I say Jessica doesn't watch. So the same thing happens for the um, simple past. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for any tense, actually. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, th this is my big problem uh, mm -hmm. because uh, when I'm talking, I, I don't hear about what is the correct form of the verb. Right, but yeah. Remember I, that when it's negative, the verb is always going to go back to the base form. And when it's question, negative and question, because you have an auxiliary. Okay, always. Always. Uh, always. Nothing matter what is the time sentence? No, no. Mm -mm. Okay, okay. There All right, a... yeah. Okay. Cool, I okay. like your chart. Nice. You've been busy, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So uh, I have. Right, that's okay. I'm watching everything I had worked. Yeah. Okay, so the first one. Okay. Let me just check here. I, mm -hmm. I, when you use the past, I think I work. All uh, uh, or I learn or I well in the in the regular verbs I ate or like. Right. But when it's um, regular verbs, mm -hmm. always in in ed. Right, ed. Mm -hmm. Okay, but. Um, okay, okay, the case here is because I have an auxiliary verb, no? Mm -hmm. I didn't work and this is, didn't is in past, no? Right, yes, uh-huh. Okay, I don't need to change the... So, in English, uh, Williams, remember that what gives you the idea of the tense is the auxiliary. If you say, I don't work, you immediately understand the don't is negative, I mean, but it's in simple present. You can okay. say didn't, and you say, ah, oh, I didn't work the simple past, because you listen to didn't, all right? If you say, I will work, ah, you understand it's future because of the will. Okay. I have worked, all right, then that changes because it's past, it's past perfect. I mean, present perfect, I have changed. All right, so uh, lots of the time, Williams, with in English, what gives you the 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 idea of the time of the tense of your verb of of your sentence is the auxiliary. 
Okay. All right. But, uh, but for example, in the past perfect, I don't mm -hmm. sure if it's, this is all right, but hal or hadn't is an auxiliary verb or no. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. But the verb change. The verb changes to past participle. But it's like a, a, a single form. It's a structure that way. All right. So what makes your, te, uh, your t, um, perfect tenses is the combination of have plus the past participle of the verb. Okay. It's only in this, uh, in this time. On the, on the, yes. On, only on those tenses. Yes. On the perfect tenses. Press, I mean, perfect tenses or past perfect tenses. The one that you have here, for example, it says, I had worked. That is past perfect. Okay. Right? And then you have, I have worked. That is uh, press. And I will have worked. That's future. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Past per conditional. Per huh? Okay. Only perfect. Uh, we, we change the verb. Yeah. Because you change it to past participle. It's not that you change it to simple past. Okay. You change it to past participle. The last column of the verbs. Remember, go, went, gone, eat, ate, eaten. All right. So you say, I have eaten so much I felt sick. All right. So I have, have the, the, the auxiliary have or has plus the next verb that is going to be on uh, the past participle. All right. Okay. 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 All right, cool. I like your chart. Nice. Try to catch it. <laughs> yeah, very good. So, yeah, because I have a big problem with this, mm -hmm. this area. All right. I have a big problem to talking. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but you're doing fine, Williams. And you know what? I mean, I was telling uh, Diana last week because she was saying that uh, she feels frustrated sometimes because of the speaking, all right? But I was telling her, and I'm going to tell you the same thing, a speaking, the speaking skill is the last skill we acquire. Okay. We understand first, we read first, we write first, and last we speak, all right? And it's the same thing. It, that, that's going to happen in every language, and it happened to us in, in, in Spanish. It took you two years to talk to your mom, all right, or to talk to someone, all right? You were not born and said hi, all right? Yeah. So <laughs> you had to listen to everybody speaking to you, and then you were able to make sounds, and then you were able to make words, and then you were able to say a sentence. So it takes like a year and a half, two years, for you to actually speak in your mother language, which is Spanish. So the last skill that we acquire in any language is speaking, all right? First, okay. you need to understand it. First, you need to process it, all right? Then you read it, then you write it, and last, you speak it, all right? So don't feel frustrated. I mean, you're doing fine. Of course, speaking is the most difficult skill because you are, you know, you're communicating, you're, you're expressing your ideas, and that's difficult. Exactly. I, I need to put in order the idea, be, yes. but I don't have a, enough time for that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and the only, the only way, Williams, to do it is to practice it, okay? And, and I was saying that to Diana last week, you know, if you have someone that you can practice with, that helps you. And I think that's of these classes because you have two hours to speak all yeah. right to, to practice it especially if you don't have anybody else to practice at home all yeah. right so and and that's the way it should be all right but yeah. you're doing great williams <laughs> okay my 10 minutes i think yeah yeah irene is already with us hi irene <laughs> hi irene and hi irene how are you <laughs> I gonna stop my screen. All right, yeah. All right, Irene, do good you night. have? Yes, good night, Williams. Thank you so much for being with me. All right, Irene, do you have any questions or anything you want me to help you with? Your microphone, Irene. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, thank you, Richard. Uh, really, I need a. Uh, 
that you uh, tell tell me okay. uh, what what I need uh, to support me. Okay. Uh, is that you give my your observation about what you think I should improve? Uh, for example, that I speak very quickly, my pronunciation, that I need to speak more, or any comments or maybe as well any suggestion right uh, okay. that you have for me to improve all right very good thank you irene i think you're doing very well irene as i i think you were listening to what i was saying to williams remember that speaking the speaking skill is the last skill we acquire okay the last skill we manage because it's difficult, because we're trying to express our ideas, all right? So, but taking that into account, you're doing really great. I think uh, pronunciation is always difficult because remember, this is not our first language. So what I think, uh, Irene, from like, we have been together for two and a half weeks. I, I can suggest to you, if you could like listen to, um, either movies or like on the internet there are many many places where you can listen to conversations all right like take i don't know 10 minutes of the day and listen to a conversation all right and try to pay attention the way they pronounce all right there is i'm gonna well there are many places or many sites on the internet there is one irene that is called um Randolph Cafe, and it's a, it has many listenings, okay, that you can listen to short conversations. And I like that place because it's divided into like a easy conversations, easy conversations, and difficult conversations, all right, or like advanced conversations. So you, and then you have a small quiz depending on the conversation, all right? So that way you can improve your com your comprehension, your listening skill, and your pronunciation. It's a combo. <laughs> it's a combination because you can get many things from the listening, all right? But yeah, listening is always good for you. Reading also, but you are reading to yourself, all right? So you don't know if you're pronouncing okay. Whereas listening, you're listening to people that speak English in a native way. So that can help, that would help you a lot to improve your pronunciation. But, Irene, you're doing really well. Okay, thank you. Uh, in my case, I, I write very well. Mm -hmm. I conversation when I read uh, some documents, but when you or someone um, speak uh, very fast, maybe mm -hmm. I understand very well. But when I read or when you explain um, very, uh, very slow mm -hmm. or slow, I understand perfectly. Right, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But uh, for me, the, the more difficult is. Uh, the listening that's right the, that's right the listening mm -hmm. and and speak to uh, okay. i many ideas in my in your in head my, <laughs> in my head but it's difficult to express to express, you express yeah of course yes i understand but you know what practice listening it and maybe five minutes maybe 10 minutes every day that's gonna help you a lot if whenever you have time irene if you can watch movies in english all right watch them i mean watch the movie and listen in english and read if you can have like if you have netflix for example you can have the subtitles in english and you're listening that will help you too because then you're listening you're reading all right and you see the words the spelling and you see the pronunciation and everything so that that also helps you a lot all right so practice your listening because that's going to help you improve your listening skill and also your speaking skill okay and uh, nowadays, uh, when I listen uh, a new course, I change. I ch mm, I check? found in the aha uh -huh, in the traductor and the I aha uh, uh -huh, is the meaning. Right. And help me very much. 
Yes, of course. Yeah. You know what? I have a book. I have a notebook where I write the words that I don't know. For example, when I watch, this is what I do, Irene. I watch the movie in English. All right. I listen to the movie in English, but I always have the subtitles in English. All right. Sometimes uh, I don't know a word because English is not my first language. All right. So when I see a word that I don't know, I write it down. All right. And then I try to memorize it and I try to use it. All right. That's going to help you too. Mm -hmm. Okay. And other, other things that I made uh, nowadays is uh, when I. Um, uh, sorry, uh, I found in the internet a list of the um, verbs or words uh, more more popular or more okay. used. Okay. Uh -huh. in, I feel that uh, uh, help me. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Nice. All right. I mean, Irene, whatever you can have in English is going to help. All right. Listening, reading having those verbs, uh, you can also find idioms. Idioms will help you a lot too. All right, idioms are very, very used, like, like we use them very much, and that, that can help you like um, express yourself better. All right? Okay, thank you, teacher. You're very welcome, Irene. Thank you for being with me tonight. Okay. Thank you, All right. good night, Thank teacher. you, good night, rest, bye. Bye-bye. Por eso es divertido.
Hi, Jennifer. Hi, teacher. How are you? Ah, so so. Ah. But okay. Alright, very good. <laughs> At ten minutes for the extra, extra <laughs> for your time. extra class. <laughs> For me, extra class, yes. Um, one topic is uh, the pay conjunction, but they use the neither either for the for the positions inside the sentences. Uh, sometimes uh, a little uh, difficult com comprehensions about this. Right. Uh, how I. How I do mm -hmm. to identify uh, the the way the way manner to the to the uh, positions neither either in different sentences, teacher. All right. Right now, Jenny, we have only studied uh, neither nor. Actually, next week I believe we're going to study either or. All right, because I mean, Jenny, there are many pair conjunctions. All right, but right now we have studied neither okay. nor. Next week we will study no. either or. All right. Now neither okay. nor is it gives you a negative connotation. It gives you a negative meaning. All right. So when I say, for example, neither Jennifer nor Jessica, it's study for first. Okay. So that means that nobody did. I didn't. You didn't. Okay neither okay. nor when we talk about either or which is going to be studied next week it gives you a positive connotation all right so that's the difference between those two neither is always going to be with nor and either is always going to be with or all right so that's like let's say the rule number one now neither for example when you use sub like nouns or subjects then you say that that's the example i gave you it says neither jennifer nor Jessica, all right? So we have it very clear on those examples when we talk about nouns or pronouns, we use neither plus the subject, all right? Yeah. So we say neither Jenny nor Jessica, all right? Uh, that's, that's like the easiest one what, that we can understand. Then for example, I say, I don't like, I don't like neither hamburgers okay when they are the same level uh, Jenny when we talk about parallelism parallelism means the same word all right like if you're using a noun you use another noun if you use okay. a verb you use another verb if you use an adjective you use another adjective okay that means parallelism which is the same all right now uh, there are other times that you say for example well sorry that you say for example um, I I neither run nor play, for example. Then you talk about verbs, all right? So if you have the same, when, when the sentences are simple, Jenny, like those, usually you have neither plus the verb, neither plus the adjective, neither plus the noun, and then nor, and then the other adjective or the other um, verb or the other noun in that case uh what else um usually jenny usually you know what when i was teaching or i was getting my classes done for you about neither nor i was trying to find out jenny a special rule that we can follow when to use neither at the beginning or in the middle or somewhat but nobody says anything about that all right so there's no a special rule when to follow it like that. So most of the time it goes by ear. All right, so we can say, for example, when we talk about nouns, we know that it is gonna be neither eh, fulanita nor menganita, right? So that one is that way always. That one doesn't change, all right? But there are other times that you can place it at different eh, positions in the sentence usually another structure that they use very much is for example the sub the verb i hold on that's not that that's for the other one i usually i neither yeah 
usually we don't have the neither so much at the beginning except for the nouns because you say i neither play you don't say neither i play nor i listen to you so you can say that usually jenny also depends on the emphasis that you want to give to a sentence remember yesterday or the day before i can remember we were talking about he neither listens nor advises you remember that sentence all yes right. all right and some of your yes. class, uh -huh, and some of your classmates were placing it in a different way all right so it depends on how emphatic you want to be and what you're emphasizing are you emphasizing it on the verb or are you emphasizing it something else so depending on that you kind of follow your um instinct on when or where on where to place the uh, neither nor all right but i will keep mm -hmm. on, i i will keep on trying to find a specific rule which i haven't found uh, so i can pass it on to you jenny all right so it becomes easier does only uh identify the the um, the um teacher identifies uh, to the to the good manners uh or no darle un buen sentido a la oración yeah to give like a better sense to the sentence right la, mm -hmm. yes um, okay teacher is the 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 how about i have a, a little confused but all right that's okay i right. study, study okay. more <laughs> how about this topic and the use right to the yeah. paper. Mm -hmm. but okay. and 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 the others is uh is uh it's more um it's a little easier it's easier yeah, to understand. Yeah. Right. But yeah. That's okay. Yes. And that's not, that's right. It's, it's, it's only that. Okay. I have a, a questions. All right. Very good, Danny. <laughs> and thank right. you, teacher. No, for thank your time. you. No, we thank you for being with me. <laughs> <laughs> but i am studying more all right okay Please. jenny about that thank you bye teacher bye rest okay feel better thank you teacher all right have a nice have a nice you, night you too jenny have a nice night bye thank you bye Hi. Hi, Gerardo. Hi. You? Yeah. 
you tired? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh my goodness, Gerardo. I, I, I put the alarm to, to remind me that. Oh <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> That's so nice of you. Thank you, Gerardo. <laughs> what time do you usually wake up, Gerardo? Uh, like uh, 4, 4 30. Right, yeah, very I, early. I, all right because uh, because the 6 a.m is the the arrive to the job to your job all right so you're working from six to three or no. six to 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 one p.m oh okay all right but at least you finish earlier i mean gerardo yeah just early, but, but I, I, when I return the the house, uh, my house is a, a a negocio business. It's a business. Business food and oh, and I return to help and someone. Right, things. of course. Okay. So you, that's why you're always tired, Gerardo. You have a very busy day. <laughs> yeah. Now, Gerardo, you live in San Salvador? Yes, la, around the Redondelma Ferrer. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. And then you have to commute to Intradesa. So you're pango, okay. <laughs> so you're pango. How's the traffic right now All the from like... Uh, in the in the morning is is very very fast fluid fluid oh really but in the yeah in the afternoon is is crowded, crowded oh really oh my yes. goodness okay interesting all right very good so gerardo do you have any questions about anything or or you are okay with um or is there uh, anything i can help you with Yes, I, 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 my, my, I have to, to, I, pedir, pedirle you advice. To, yes, okay. Advice to, to talk more fluency. That, that is my, 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 my witness, witness right. or. Yeah, your weakness. Yeah. Fluency and. And vocabulary, I think the I com comprehend the 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 context, the topics, and right. like that the topics. But when I I talking is is difficult to yes. to conjun conjunction the the your ideas. The, <laughs> yeah. All okay. right, yeah, I was. You know what? Um, it, Irene and Williams were also saying, asking the same question. And you know what? It's sometimes is um, one of the ways to improve your um, speaking and your fluency is by listening. All right. So um, I was telling Irene that I know that you guys are very busy and everything, but if you could have like five minutes a day to listen to something in English, that would help you a lot. I was telling you any that there, yeah, mm -hmm, or conversations or just anything. For example, if you're watching a movie, Gerardo, you can watch it, try to watch it in English and have the subtitles in English because that helps you improve your listening and your reading the words. All right. So your brain is processing all the information. Okay. There is a site in in internet that is a very good site. It's called uh, Randall's Cafe, and that helps you uh, improve your listening because they have conversations that are uh, in different levels or at different for different levels for like beginners, intermediate, and advanced. So Randall's Cafe is a very it's a very good. Um, site where you can find many listenings and they have um, short quizzes after the conversation then you can have like short quizzes to like check your comprehension 
but listening will help you a lot more than reading because when you read sometimes you don't know if you are uh, reading properly all right because of pronunciation and everything but when you're listening usually we we listen to native speakers so they have good pronunciation all right so listening is the best way to improve gerardo your microphone what is, is off <laughs> uh -huh. what is Es que mis hijas están, my daughters. Es. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is native speakers? Native speakers, you say native speakers. Uh huh. The people that speak English, uh, like gringos. Nativo. <laughs> uh -huh. Nativo. Yeah. Ah, uh, native no. speakers. Uh huh. Okay. So that that will help yeah. you improve your listening and your speaking and your fluency and your vocabulary. It's everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that this is the more hard for me to yeah. learn fluency. Right, and yes. It is for everybody, Gerardo. Don't worry about it. It's a process, all right? And then you have, like, there are two ways to improve it. One is by listening a lot of things. And the other one is to practice it. You need to practice, 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 all right, for you to get better at what at your fluency and your speaking skills. Okay. Can you send me the link? Yeah, yeah, I, I will. Yeah, I have your number. So I'm gonna send you. for the someone. Wait, wait. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm going to send it to you for sure. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Gerardo. I like the, the class teacher. Thank you, Gerardo. That's the very topic. nice. The you like the topics? Is, yeah, for me, the 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 ball of trainings and the mm -hmm. today the describe the the training to the professional. Mm -hmm. For me, interesting, interesting because. Uh, Never, never talk about in English about ah, this topic. Ah, right, of course, yes. All right, well, I'm happy that you like it, Gerardo. Very nice. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, thank you so much for joining me tonight, okay? Go rest. <laughs> okay. Okay, good night, teacher. Good night, and I'll see you care. tomorrow. Yeah, you too. Bye, Gerardo. Bye, bye. Mm. Not right, no. <laughs>